So here we go everybody. This is another Epic Amazing Awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority on this episode. My name is Justin Braddock by the way. We are reviewing a belly band holster for revolvers and pistols and all kinds of different things. And I've got a gun pointed towards me, but which isn't okay. But thankfully, it's loaded with snap cap ammunition, so it's safe. I am not violating YouTube's terms of service by promoting anything in this video that says that you're not supposed to and there's a notification in the beginning of this video. Okay, so anyways, got the belly band. I have not tried belly bands before I got this one. I did take it out already, try it out, see how it would all work, you know, so that I could, I could get a good feel for it before I started out. And there are some mistakes that can be made with this item. <laughs> but anyways, here it is for all you. Okay. And this size, the size I got, um, it fits. Okay. It, it's, it, it's okay. I mean, if I was bigger and heavier, it wouldn't fit. I'll put it that way. It, it fits perfectly on me. So, you know, you may want to go for the larger sizes um, when you order. And I don't think there's any price difference on that. Uh, biggest loss here, let's see, the Velcro, it, it should adjust no matter how big you get, it should still adjust. So let's go ahead and fill this thing up and show you how it's intended to work. So I take the, uh, the strip here, and this is actually a bad one. This is one of the ones I got that didn't, uh, doesn't hold the ammunition right. So it won't be so good for a reload test, but anyway... And I'm going to put it in in the direction where my left hand, because I'm right-handed, can grab the ammunition out. So we'll fit one magazine, one um, strip of ammunition for a firearm. Okay, so we're going to fit this guy down in here. Now it has, as you can see, a safety strap to help hold the revolver pistol in place. I am not always a fan of these safety straps. Now, the gun does come out real easy and go in. And because of that, um, a safety strap might be something you need. It might be an annoyance. You might put it out of the way. I don't know if the laws are in your state or county or whatever. But one thing is about this is, is that it is shaped so that the, um, the, the trigger guard stops as well. Um, it's just big enough for the uh, barrel to go down through and the bottom part stops with the trigger guard. So you don't have to worry about it falling at the bottom. Now, the mistake I made when I was testing this out and using it after a while was I didn't notice because it was just in such a convenient place and I was actually putting the revolver down into where the magazine goes and um, I was having problems. Now, cell phone. Make sure I turn this on to vibrate before I get started here so it's not going off. Okay, we'll put it down in the cell phone holder case. So, belly band. I'll tell you the other day why I would have liked to have been wearing a belly band, okay? Uh, I didn't need to because I have other places I can uh, put a firearm. I mean, I could put it down here if I wanted to or inside my coat or lots of places. But basically, it was time to go. I was late to go somewhere and I have an invisible holster that I have not reviewed. You are not going to see it on my YouTube channel because then everybody would know about it and they'd know where it is. And I don't want anyone to know. So I have an invisible holster that literally I could be wearing very minimal clothing and you would not know that I had um, a handgun, okay? I love the holster. Absolutely love the holster. Unfortunately, it's hard to put the gun in. It's a lot less difficult to get it out. And so when I'm in a hurry to go somewhere, it's like, well, you know, I can't just grab the gun and jam it down in there if I don't already have it in there. Maybe I got it in my safe, you know, and they just passed that new initiative in Washington State, I think, that requires all guns to be in safes or something or locked up or somehow. And so anyways, sometimes my gun's sitting in a safe and I got to grab it and put it in my holster, right? And the thing is, is it just takes too long sometimes to do that. Whereas my belly band, much easier, much faster, put it in and pull it out and it's in a much more convenient place um, to draw from, you know, if I need it. And I can of course move it all around wherever I want. But again, I've got a big belly. So the only way 
I can conceal carry with the belly band is with this coat. That's that's going to be like, or a coat, you know. It's going to be the only way I can get away with it. That being said, let's try it out and show you how this would work. And, you know, it's getting harder and harder to find places to shoot because um, they're putting more regulations in effect. And uh, so I might be able to go to the gun range this Sunday and shoot. I don't know. I guess I'd have to get some money out of the credit union because I need to do dues this year. But anyway, so I'm going to put this on. And again, I could put the gun here. I could put it over here out of the way, you know, wherever. And yeah, it matters to you. And yes, it does matter. So you need to figure that out now. The only drawback to the belly band approach here is that at least with revolvers it seems like it's sucking them in towards towards you. Um, so the barrels are pointed at you when you put this thing on. Come on now. I didn't have so, oh well I didn't have it loaded with stuff when I put it on before. I put the stuff in it because it makes it easier to know, you know, how it's gonna fit before you lock it in place. But I need, yes, I'm breaking all kinds of rules right now because you're not supposed to point the gun at any part of yourself and I've got my hand under the gun, but thankfully it's not loaded with live ammunition. So theoretically, I don't have to worry about it. The only people I have to worry about it with are the people watching this video that freak out. Now, because of the shape of my belly, if I go up higher with this, now it's not pointed towards my body. Now it's pointed out because I'm above the bulge, okay? Below the bulge is where I would have that problem. So right here is fine. But I do have to pull my hand up higher to get to it if it's above the bulge. If I put it down here where it's meant to be, then it's a lot easier. It's a lot more convenient to access, okay? Now, first of all, this should look normal. A cell phone here, right? This should look completely normal. I'm already concealed. I'm already doing fantastic. Now, I guess I should zoom out a little bit so you guys can see my head. I don't know. But um, basically, here we go. We are, we're rolling, we're ready to go. And I can grab the gun. I can grab my reload, although it's, you know, I'd rather have it closer. So I think this actually works better for the sake of use. Now, obviously, it's not as easy to conceal now because, you know, revolver's here. But if I can grab the revolver and I can grab my reload and my phone is kind of in the way, so, um, you know, that's something to consider. No phone, get the no phone. Much better. Okay, no, the no phone error, and then you don't have to worry about this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in or zoom out so you guys can see this better. Okay, maybe you'll see my head now. I don't know. Hopefully. Uh, my head. I guess, it's I guess it's in the picture. Okay, let's get this chair. Now. I can kind of see my face at least. Okay, so, got the gun, got everything. I zip up my coat, I'm fine, okay? So, I could zip up the bottom of my coat, like this, and then I still, well, it's just easier if it's this way. So, now I can grab here, okay? I can pull it out. Now, I've got this, this, this safety thing, and so for me, I don't like the safety thing, so I think, at least not with this gun, because I don't seem to need it, so I just shove it down in there next to the gun, and that's going to be a lot quicker draw. Now I did test this, so bend over like this. It doesn't. It hasn't. That actually it does kind of. Look at how easy that slips out. So if I bend over real far, it does kind of easily slip out. So the strap is necessary, unfortunately, with this. Um, okay, so. I see a threat, what am I gonna do? First thing I gotta do is make sure my clothes are clear, right? So I gotta pull this back, right? Reach down, and you should be looking down when you're doing this. How am I keep cutting myself? I keep cutting my hands. I don't know how I'm doing it. Anyways, so pull this up right here, okay, as I'm reaching down, and uh, I'm not cutting myself on the holster, so I don't know where Anyways, reach down, pull this thing up, okay? Then all of a sudden, we, because we got this done, I guess we'll do it more of a, well, we'll just go through it slow first. So, pull it out, pull it up to the, the camera, I'm going to shoot my camera. All right.
right? And so there we go. And I have infinite ammunition because I have, you know, non-live ammunition here. So I can just pull the trigger as many times as I want. But basically, there you go. Let's do it fast. And then we'll try to do a reload just for the sake of it, right? So we'll get this down in here. I don't intend on carrying this every day, this, this belly band. Because, like I said, this will work better for women, uh, skinny women, than it would for for a big-bellied man like myself. But in a pinch... You know, this is nice. Just put it on, take the gun with you. Because, um, I mean, I can I can take this gun and I can put it in here. I don't have to, you know. So, anyway, so, we'll go back. I'm going to try to do this quickly now. I haven't practiced this a lot, so I might fumble a little bit, but I'm going to try it. So, I come down. And then I got to reach down. See, I'm not doing this fast at all. As fast as I should be. Okay. Definitely practice with the belly band. Okay, but it does work. And, you know, if you get practice at it, you're going to get better. So, I go ahead and reholster. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you go down in the video description or in the information card on the video and click on the USCCA and become a member. If you have a firearm you, or any kind of dangerous weapon or ever intend to use one or ever think you might use one to defend yourself or someone else, you need to have USCCA protection. It doesn't matter if it's a kitchen knife, what it is, because you, you if you have to kill someone in self-defense, you're likely going to jail and you're likely going to be prosecuted. And if you have USCCA, uh, if you're a USCCA member, then you can just call them and they will, you know, get you an attorney, get you bailed out of jail. They'll do everything uh, up to the coverage limit that you have. Okay, so put this back down in here again. Don't put the revolver in there. Don't put the revolver in there. Don't put the revolver in there. Okay, it does fit. I'll, you know, I'll show you. I'll tell you what, I'll show you guys how you can get that confused. I mean, it does allow you to put more than one weapon in here if you really wanted to. So you put that there and put another weapon right here. But don't, okay? Don't, because it'll slip out of there. You need this safety thing because it's slick. It's easy to, quick, quickly easy to draw. So. There, got the magnet. Everything is doing good. There we go. All right, so let's try it again, maybe a little quicker this time. I didn't look where my hands were going when I took this uh, speed strip out of here. So, all right. So there it is. And for those of you wondering, this is a 357 Magnum EA Windicator, and I will tell you the downside to this thing right now, okay, as long as we're doing this video. So, and this is not an advertisement for this product, by the way. So the issue with the 357 Magnum 2-inch revolver is that if your ammunition uh, has a rating of coming out of the barrel faster than 1200 um, FPS, it won't get enough time, enough contact with the uh, the threading in the inside of the barrel to twist. And so when it comes out, it will most likely go down and to the right. At least that's the way it is for me. Um, I demonstrated that back in my video. You can watch the video where every, almost every time I shot with super high velocity 357 Magnum through this guy, um, it would just go off usually low and to the right. Okay. And so... Anyway, um, you definitely want to get the 4-inch option. You certainly can purchase ammunition that's 200 grain, you know, that's uh, less than 1,200 uh, FPS. In fact, that they claim is recommended for, uh, for you know, shooting bear and wild hogs and things. So, you know, but what I really do like about this revolver is I really do like um, how compact it is how easy it is um, to carry around. 
Now, I have had a lot of the bluing here on the edges come off on this gun, uh, both around the edge here and down here. And I have tried to touch it up and paint it, and it just wears off again. And I guess, I mean, you can tell me, but I guess as long as it's wearing all the time, I shouldn't have to worry, worry so much about surface rust because it's constantly sanding down and wearing on it. Um, so, you know, there's a gun trade show coming up. I might uh, be really tempted to try to trade this, sell it and trade it for uh, something better. Maybe something with a longer uh, barrel on it. But um, anyways, that gun trade show is going to be in Lewiston, Idaho. And you'll probably be watching this video afterwards. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's, oh man, it's coming up here in November, in the middle of November. I think it's before payday. So... Um, it's on a weekend when, uh, do you guys really want to know? Do you really want, really want me to look it up for you? I will. Okay. So this month it's on the 17th and the 18th. Okay. So the 17th, it's going to be 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at uh, 1220 Burl Avenue in Liston, Idaho. Okay. And then on Sunday, it's going to be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So Saturday is definitely going to be uh, more hours. So I would think that would be the better day. Uh, so anyways, make sure I got some reminders for that on this thing. So I show up to it. But um, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm good there. But uh, yeah, maybe I can go in and trade this thing for something that's got a four inch, you know, barrel on it. And it's not... Um, getting worn off on the, the edges there with the uh the bluing maybe i can get something that's not you know blued something that's not going to rust you know that'd be nice but um anyway so that is the deal with uh with the belly band um and again it's quick easy and convenient you don't have to take your pants off you don't have to do anything you just wrap this around you stick your gun in it and you're good to go. So anyway, of course, you want to remember the safety strap. So thanks so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And just bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video. Consider giving to our Patreon. Go to ChristianCourts.com. Make sure to check out my GoFundMe page and how to build a moped.com, how to win in court, all those other fun, amazing things. All right. Subscriber Bunny agrees that 4K video is good for you. It's good for your health. So make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe. We just bless you. Please check out ChristianCourts.com and how to build a moped.com and all those other affiliate links and great things and my GoFundMe. All right. Bye.